and the nominees are The Artist Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 Hugo The Iron Lady and My Week with Marilyn And the BAFTA goes to The Iron Lady BAFTA, on behalf of Mark, Roy and myself, I'd just like to thank Phyllis Lloyd, Anita Overland, Damien Jones and our amazing cast for all being such wonderful people to work for. Um, my heartfelt thanks to my team, Kay Bilk, Kate Warwick Oliver, Carolyn Cousins, Anita Casali, Sally Collins and Alex King. Finally, my family, Linda Mammy, Pathé and the Weinstein Company for their great support. Congratulations to all of you for winning for the Iron Lady. So Good well deserved. Thank you. Um, what, what were the challenges that faced you, you know, to dress Meryl and make her appear like a young Margaret Thatcher and then age her to 80 years old? I mean, what was the, what was the toughest challenge? The budget. Okay. <laughs> Always the way. Time. Yeah. Time, Time and money. Yes. Time and money. And how long would she, Meryl spend in makeup before going on For the older set? one, it took us uh, about three hours altogether, wasn't it? Yes, right. three, we had two hours, hours and 20 minutes, and I had 40 to 45. No more. And no more. That's it. And obviously Olivia Coleman as well. Um, prosthetics yeah. involved there. It, absolutely incredible. Yeah, she had a, a fake nose on, and as yeah. did Alexandra, the young, who played the young Margaret Thatcher. And, and Jim Broadbent's got a pretty extensive makeup too. He's a good, he was a good three hours in the chair Fantastic. too. So they must and be everybody great had spirits. Teeth. And everybody <laughs> had teeth as everybody well. Had teeth. This was an incredible job. That's a well-deserved BAFTA. How will you celebrate okay. tonight? Champagne. 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 <laughs> the champagne gin and tonic. Oh, gin and tonic. <laughs> I thought we were a gin and tonic kind of guy. Congratulations. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. So well Thank you so much. Thank you.